The Chinese government bans all depictions of gay people on television, so when a semi-final of the Eurovision Song Contest was broadcast by Mango TV in China, some of the performances were censored, including this from Ireland. I thought we'd be together till we die. And now Mango TV has been barred from showing the rest of the competition. The final takes place on Saturday in Portugal. Our China media analyst Kerry Allen explained what the broadcaster had done. They showed Eurovision footage and it was edited. They removed some of the entries. So they removed Ireland's entry in Eurovision and uh, Albania's. But what caused a lot of controversy online is in some footage they showed rainbow flags being waved in the audience and they blurred them out completely and people took offence to this online and said that it was discrimination against homosexual communities. Now, it's not a name I know. Who are Mango TV? They're the biggest broadcaster in China. Uh, they're the most popular, whereas most people know the word CCTV, which is the official state broadcaster. Mango TV is the biggest channel because it hosts a lot of entertainment programming. And would many people have been watching Is Eurovision popular in China? It's not entirely popular, but a lot of people will have been watching. It's been gradually gaining momentum over the years and international TV coverage is not that common in China anyway. China clamped down a few years ago on its copyright laws and, uh, and said that state broadcasters have to have agreements with international broadcasters in order to show shows. So, uh, so with Eurovision, it's still relatively new and people find it a bit quirky. And it's been popular with LGBTQ communities, but this has obviously caused a lot of outrage. Uh, and talking of that, what, what's been the reaction on social media to this? Oh, there's been lots of reaction. Thousands of people have been sharing video stills, showing the um, rainbow flags blurred out, people saying that they're going to boycott the station, and some people have been saying that they're going to buy things with rainbows on and test the sensors and say, you know, if I buy a, a rainbow umbrella or a rainbow T-shirt, am I, am I going to be arrested? And has there been any reaction to the fact that Mango TV have now lost the rights to Eurovision? People are starting to realise this, but news obviously takes a bit of catching up in China. For example, Twitter or Facebook, they're blocked in China. So often it will be somebody who has a VPN, which is a piece of software, that's able to access international media and to see reports such as this. They will let people know in China and, uh, and they have to have a certain amount of clout in order for people to believe them.